What is up guys, BKR TV, and in today's logo tutorial we're going to be looking at how to create custom tattoos for your create superstars or divas on WWE 2K18. Unlike my previous tutorials where I've used a friendly designer, I'm going to be using Affinity Photo, which is their other program. The difference between the two is designer is a vector software, this works with pixels. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either go on Google and search tattoos or go on Google and search for tattoo sketches or tattoo drawings. I'm going to show you how to create tattoos from each search. So we'll start off with tattoo sketches and drawings. For example, I've got one here. It's a standard, almost black and white. And what you do is if you go to adjustments, you've got all these adjustment options I tend to usually go to exposure and maybe go like one stop or just play around with it to get it how I want it to be what, what you want to try to achieve is a perfect white black split you don't really want any kind of grey so if I keep going roughly let's say about there and then just want to go black and white. I'd probably take warm, just because say for example, it was taken with a camera, you may have some yellows or some reds, and that might affect the drawing. Then what you'd do, if you take these two adjustment layers, drag it into the corner of the icon, as you can see here, the little green square, and that will then image or image map those adjustments only to that layer you then right click rasterize it'll then flatten it into one pixel layer and then the good thing about Affinity Photo is it has this filter under the colors called erase white paper you do that and it removes all trace of white from the image leaving just the black which means we have a perfectly cropped out tattoo and then for final touches I would go to color overlay to make it perfectly black and change the opacity to 60 and that's how I would make a tattoo from a sketch drawing the other way you can do it is by searching a tattoo and for example like this one this is a tattoo that's come off someone's arm to do this, you would go to black and white, let's make it warm, practically the same thing you did with the other one, but you wanted to add more effects to it to remove that arm and make it completely white behind it. So if we have those two layers, go to exposure for example, double click that, and keep upping the exposure until you get it to remove all of the excess color. So we're now on the black and white adjustment. Use these to try and get rid of any excess shading. So we'll go with that for now. Drag those two into the layer like I did last time and rasterize. And for example, this won't be perfect. So what I would do is I would remove the white using the erase white paper filter. As you can see, there is a little bit of excess shading on these corners. So what I'll do is I would give it an outline, which will show every area. I'll then go to the eraser tool and just erase any area that I don't one and then turn off the outline and here we go we have our tattoo say for example you want to increase the outline make it a bit darker for example where my mouse is there's a very faint black line if you go to outer glow the reason you don't want to do outline is because it'll look very pixelated and you can't get as thin a line as you can with the glow so if we set it to normal, the blend mode, set it to black, 
lower the intensity for a sec just so we can see and if you increase it increase the radius a little bit play around with the radius and the intensity you can get the line to look a bit thicker or get this lower half for example to be a bit fuller and that's pretty much it like with the last one set it to 60 opacity black color overlay and there we go there's another tattoo for you guys so that's the two ways you can do custom tattoos using affinity photo and yeah that's been BKR TV please like favorite and subscribe for more logo tutorials hopefully I will also introduce some video editing tutorials of Final Cut hopefully in the future but yep I will catch you guys on the next one and peace